This is a monster squat for an opener. I'm very curious how this moves. He's listed his best as 350. Yeah, that's very, I mean, if that best, he's been competing 15 years, so usually your best don't get redone with massive leaps after 15 years of competing. Usually you wouldn't open that close to your best, but let's see how this moves. Wow. <laughs> well, it's a very narrow stand, so let's see how the depth looks from the side. So I hope he's not hurt, but he's not going to take another squat. Yeah, when you when the muscles stretch like that, when you dive bomb with that kind of weight on your back, it's hard to well, keep I control. I think it's also difficult to keep control of which direction you're coming up in. I think the weight got in front of him. Um, and he dumped it over his head, which was really hard for the spotters behind him to catch. But you have Mohamed Sahad for 3.55. Now the strength is there. Was it deep enough? It was. He squat gold. This is a monstrous squat, let's just say. 365 kilo, this is a monstrous squat. And I think the spotters and loaders are already anxious with what we've seen. So when they have this kind of weight loaded, my goodness, I'm glad I'm in the media booth. <laughs> we are still a way off the world record, which was Dennis Cornelius for 386 back in 2017. Yeah, Dennis, Minsk. likely the greatest 120 kilo lifter of all time. And he's on the comeback. We might see him again in the future. Jeff looks good. Oh, wow. So easy. Oh, wow. He looked like he had another 10. Well, I'm glad the coach caught that before he attempted it. 20 kilos yeah. extra. That, was, that could have. We've already had yeah. we've already had a crazy session. That could have ended really, very badly. But we have Sahad on the platform right now for 200. I'm, I'm hesitant to predict anything now. We're having. My memory serves me right, it was. We had two. We did. Either way, they're all back. And um, they've already pressed. Everybody looks fine, which is good. Maybe it was just a bit of cramp. We are at altitude here. That looked like a nice second. But he has looked strong today, and he's uh, the projected total has him in first place right now. Above Lugo, which is surprising. And I think he's done it. The coach is celebrating, and the lift is celebrating. That's a good, tightly packed. When we talk about nominations, those are the totals that a lifter makes at their national championships in order to qualify for this event. But the 40 kilo spread between Lugo and him is completely diminished and now he's 15 kilo ahead of Lugo. It's surprising. And looking comfortable with 320. 15 kilos ahead. It's a 55 kilo difference. <laughs> but this is sports. Throw the nominations out the window once the the yeah, action starts. Bench 20 kilos more than his nomination and squatted 15 kilos more. How much more will he dead? <laughs> this is already five kilos ahead of his nomination. So he is. This is a good play by Team Algeria. I think 10 kilo is within his reach and it will put the gold out of Lugo's reach. I think so. That's a very experienced coach he's got with him. And he looked great with 335. Yeah. I think he's got this. I think he does too. I think this could really cement the world title for him. Oh! Wow! And the door just swung open for Lugo. He's going to have a few tense moments in the back now. Listen, Lugo's 340 was.